one up and give her the ball. Hand her the ball. Thank you, young man. And turn this way, we'll get a picture with you. Hello everybody, this is Al Stash and we are at Jefferson 2 Baseball Field for the Villa Park Youth Baseball League and we have a very special guest who threw out the first ball here today, Norma Berger Taylor from Villa Park who was a former pitcher for the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League in 1950. Welcome. Thank you. Thank how, you was, how was the first pitch for you? Uh, well, not too good. <laughs> Well, you got it to the I'm catcher. I'm a little out of shape. <laughs> you got it to the catcher. That's right, important. That's, that's important. Right. Let me let me ask you. You were a, a player, a pitcher, actually, in the All American Girls Professional Baseball League, and that was featured in the program or the movie uh, League of Their Own. What was the experience like? It was uh, awesome. I was a young girl, and it was just awesome. Yeah. Uh, we traveled all over the United States and uh, played in different stadiums, and uh, it was a once in a lifetime opportunity. Well, you and your sister were uh, both players in the league, and, and your sister's since passed, but your sister was a catcher, I believe, right? That's right, she was. And what, what was your sister's name? Uh, Barbara Berger Brown. Barbara Berger Brown. Now, were you on the same team? No, we weren't. We just played together uh, in softball in our younger years, and uh, we played catch all the time, but we were never in the same league. Okay. She was two years older than I am, and she went in uh, before I did. How close was the experience you had in the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League to the movie? Very close. In fact, I cried almost when I saw the movie. It was so so real. You know, the only thing was, uh, of course, uh, you know, Tom Hanks. I mean, he, he was an actor in there, but uh, it was very, very close. The way we had to dress, the way we had to act, you know, and uh, getting off the bus and... Uh, Everything was very close. Now, you were in it's kind of a special team that did a lot of traveling. This That's time. right. That was a tour team okay. of 1950. And what was the name of that team? Uh, Springfield Sallies. Okay. And you were a pitcher, right? Right. Okay. Now, you said that you came out of high school and you went on the road, right? Right. A couple of days after I graduated, and I didn't get home till after uh, Labor Day. Uh, you know, we traveled all over down south. Uh, uh, Washington, D.C., up the East Coast, New York. You actually played in one of the most famous ball ballparks in all of baseball, Yankee yes. Stadium, right? Yes. The original one, right? Right. One inning they let us play, and we had uh, pitchers in the dugout with the Yogi Bear and uh, some of the uh, players at that time. Oh, Yogi Bear, the yeah, uh, catcher right. from the uh, right. New York Yankees in 1950. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm jealous. That was my all-time favorite player, really? Yogi Bear, <laughs> yeah, who just passed away, yes. Now, uh, let me ask you about your in individual experience. You were a pitcher. What was your record as a pitcher? It was about 500, I think, something up around there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But my uh, batting wasn't too good. My coach at the end of the season sent me a, a letter, and he says, oh, I see you're at the top of the batting order. And he says, oops, I got the sheet upside down. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of mean, but funny. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, but pitchers aren't supposed to uh, be able to bat. <laughs> yeah. Now, you know, we've got little guys out here today, and uh, yes. they're playing with a, a regulation baseball, and you played with pretty close to regulation baseball. Yes, it right? was 10 inch instead of the 9 inch, but it was regulation for us. Okay. Yeah. And, and the uh, mound that you pitched off of was not 90 feet, but it was no. something less, right? Yeah, it was less. Maybe, uh, I don't know how many feet, maybe 60 or 70. I don't remember exactly. But And, and unlike uh, uh, what's traditionally girls softball in girls baseball, you threw overhand, right? Yes, we did. Everything was overhand pitching, and the rules were uh, just like the men's rules for overhand. Now, one of the things that happened when the league ended was there was a, a commemorative display put in the uh, Baseball Hall of Fame. Yes, did you go down and see that? Yes, we did. My sister and I uh, met our my, uh, my daughter, my son-in-law, and my grandchildren there and uh, we got to see the Hall of Fame you know uh, uh, out, you know they have a plaque, yeah, the they have a plaque and a picture and and they let us take uh, Xerox copies of all our baseball uh, you know articles and so it was really nice now now when when you're watching uh, baseball today and and you see some of the fields that they play on compare that to what you played on uh, about the same, I think. I, yeah. They're they're about the same. Yeah, so they were nicely yeah. manicured. Oh and yes, grass. very nice. Yes. They weren't, you know, 
stones in a, in a dirt no, no, field? No, 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 no. They were just regular fields just like you see today. Yeah. Now, yeah. this is a long time ago, so yes. I can, I'm allowed to ask you. It's not inappropriate. What did you get paid to play in the league? Uh, $46 a week. Uh, $21 was $3 a day for food, mm -hmm. uh, and $25 was the pay, which we had no place to spend it. So, <laughs> yeah, they paid for all uniforms, all travel expenses, and hotels. Yeah. Now, one of the other things that was in the movie League of Their Own was that there was like an orientation and a chaperone, and they really yes. treated the, the female players a lot different than male. They, you oh. had to do certain things, right? Oh, yes. You had to get off the bus with a skirt on. You had to wear lipstick. You had to be a lady at all times, you know, or try to be. <laughs> okay. I didn't go out partying like they showed in the movie. Unlike uh, Madonna. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, but uh, my roommate and I were pretty quiet, shy people at that time. You know, I wasn't... Uh, real outgoing at that time, I guess. But uh, uh, I don't know how many did. I, I can't remember if they, any of our teammates did that. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you, you must feel proud that you were part of that league. Oh, I am. Uh, I, I never even thought about it much. I didn't talk about it much with my kids as they were growing up or my grandkids until the movie came out. And two of my grandkids uh, did to, you know, took uh, my pictures from my scrapbook with them to school and uh, baseball cards and uh, everything else. And they did a, an article on me and got in, in front of the class. And you know, uh, so you're famous. Yeah, right. <laughs> All of a sudden, I was famous. And now every week, I still get, uh, you know, letters from kids, adults, retirees, teachers wanting our autograph either on a card that they send or. A, a postcard or they make up something on their computer that has our emblem on it and uh, they want it, you know, the you know, the yeah. logo and they want us to sign. Yeah. I just got one uh, yesterday from uh, someplace in Illinois, but they come from all over the country. Yeah. And you sign them, you don't say oh, send them back? Right? No, I, no, I, I sign them and send them back. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. Uh, now you're a resident of Villa Park, you uh, yes, grew I up in been. Maywood, right? Yes, I did. Okay. So how long have you lived in Villa Park? Uh, since uh, September 29th of 1956. Okay, so a long yeah, time. Long time. I right. was born in 55. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we won't say anything that, <laughs> about right. your age. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, do you get a chance to come out and watch games now? Or, uh, uh, no, I don't. I've been. Uh, we've been to a couple Cubs games and Sox games and uh, Cougars game. Okay. But uh, my daughter and son-in-law for Mother's Day used to take the. Uh, the other mother and I for Mother's Day to a game at Cougars. Mm -hmm. And one time my sister and I were invited out there to sign out autographs with whatever teammates we could get together from the Chicago land area. Yeah. And they had a tent up there and uh, you know we signed autographs on uh, flyers, balls, hats, yeah. t-shirts, napkins, you name it. Yeah. But they fed us and uh, they had us up on the hill and we, we were you know, guests of honor, you know, before the game. And then we also went out to Rockford one time where the Rockford Peaches uh, played. Mm -hmm. And uh, they had a table set outside the stadium. And uh, we stopped, you know, stopped there at the uh, clock tower there and stayed overnight. And uh, they served us good there. You know, we were uh, honored before the uh, regular team that played there, the men's team. Nice, nice. And they had us on the field. And one of our girls could throw two balls at once. I don't know how she did it. I've seen that. I've Have seen you that. seen that? Yeah. And she threw out the, one of the pitches. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, I've seen uh, actually uh, a guy who used to barnstorm for the Indianapolis Clown, Bobo Nickerson, uh -huh. was able to take a ball in the bottom of his hand and the top of his hand and his fingers. The bottom would go to the pitchers and the top would go to second oh. base. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I <laughs> yes. love stuff like that. I know. Do you catch up with any of the uh, old players or teammates? Uh, I have uh, through the years. Uh, one that lives in uh, St. Charles, Illinois, but she's uh, been ill lately. Uh, we went to... Uh, uh, we went to WGN Stadium one time, and they had a limo pick us up and take us down there, and we were interviewed there. And uh, one time we went to uh, uh, one of the other like TV stands, uh, you know, stadiums or not stadiums, but uh, you know, uh, but their uh, place of business, and they had us interview on TV too. Yeah. Uh, well, now you're a big time. You're on yeah, Park TV. You're at the uh, Museum of Science and Industry too. Yeah. Uh, and we signed autographs there one time. They had us as honors uh, there. Well, this is where you've hit the peak now. You're on Villa Park Television. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, we're at the... This is, a, <laughs> this is the highlight. Right? That's, that's right. <laughs> okay, we've been talking to uh, Norma uh, Berger-Taylor, 
former pitcher for the uh, Springfield Sallies, lives right here in Villa Park. Springfield Sallies was a team for the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League, the same league that you saw in the movie League of Your Own. So thanks a lot for coming out You're here welcome, and sir. helping these kids uh, remember a little I, bit about baseball. I love it. <laughs> I'm very happy to do it. <laughs>